I forgot to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving when I presided at our Sunday service last week. Meg Rorden, one of our wonderful singers in the band, reminded me, but it was too late and I couldn't greet people on the way out as I might have and wish them happy Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving, dear people of God at Trinity. Honestly, despite the latest good news about vaccines and the presidential transition, the glorious weather and the recent rain, I feel like I'm a bit of a mess these days. What are the outward and visible signs of this inward and spiritual messiness? I can't make a decision to save my soul. I am very sensitive and not in a good way. And not only is it easy to forget to say happy Thanksgiving, but it's been difficult to be Thanksgiving at all. Then this week, while waiting to be interviewed before giving blood, I came across my dear friend Becca Stevens' holiday blog. She writes, I'm not the first to realize that this holiday season will be different after we have collectively experienced such loss and fear and uncertainty this past year. That loss may have very well shaken us to our core, but we are resilient. Rather than focusing on what might not be this holiday, take a step back, she says, and take stock of all we are grateful for. That was as far as I got before I was called in to be asked, amongst other things, about where outside of the country I had traveled in the past three years. Because of Becca and the blessing of serving on the Thistle Farms Global Advisory Council, I have been to so many places to visit women survivors and their justice enterprises that I had to look back through my photos to give specific dates. And then my heart was so filled with gratitude for the memories and the love welling up that I literally put my hand on my heart only to be asked if I was feeling all right. There are so many things to be grateful for. We just might be surprised over how thankful we can be. So this is my invitation and perhaps my challenge for this reflection, starting for myself. Be open to being surprised these holidays, surprised that touching handmade gifts for someone you love can feel like an embrace. Surprised that small gestures can show great love. Try a phone call. Surprised that apple pie still feels American and tastes delicious and even hopeful. Surprised by the gesture of a child or a friend or a spouse who has been disappointing you. Surprised that dancing is like getting back on a bike. There is so much we can be thankful for. So much that can surprise us. That's grace. That's grace. So I want to end with words of a prayer from Nadia Boltz Weber. Sometimes, sometimes I'm surprised by my heart. It can be more deeply in love than I ever knew possible. It can be gladdened by increasingly simple, everyday things. It can heal from things I used to think would destroy it. It can long for you, God, but in ways that look less like piety and more like friendship. Happy Thanksgiving, dear friends. <laughs>